Hello ebook makers again. Um, so this is the second episode uh, talking about the fixed layout ebook format. Um, I've now come back to InDesign and I'm basically just going to show you what I've got here and then we need then after that to go to another episode where we'll um, explore how we get to this point. But I just want to show you what we have before we then export this uh, once again to the fixed layout EPUB format. So, so what, what I've got on the screen at the moment, let's just uh, put that down there. What I've got on the screen at the moment is the first page. Um, but in order to show you what, how, what's working here, I'm going to bring up on the screen the, um, the pages panel. Um, you can see over here on the, on the right hand side, let's actually just um, enlarge this up a little bit so we can get a sense of what's going on. I'll bring the, the page size up to extra large. So it's a bit easier for you to see. Um, and as you can see, um, because I'm now targeting the landscape format for the fixed layout ebook, I'm building this out of a previously, a previously print version where we have spreads, in other words, two um, portrait pages side by side. You can see that what I've actually done is I've, um, I've, I've reorganized my pages so that they're all spreads. So I haven't actually um, changed the page size. Uh, I'm still using a page size that we used in our print book, but I've actually um, made sure that as I uh, am ready to export, this is actually taking the whole spread and converting it into a single page within the EPUB format. Uh, more on that uh, a bit later. But here, here you can see um, what I've actually got in the, the play, uh, sorry, the introduction part of it. Um, I'm now going to just have a look at the um, we'll just have a look at the play itself and see how that works as well. So again, if I go into my pages panel uh, and show you what that looks like. So again, uh, as you can see, I've actually now, um, you know, everything is a, is a double page spread. There are no single pages in here from the beginning to the end. The last page, of course, is a single page, but that doesn't really matter because what actually will happen is it'll, it'll automatically add a page onto that anyway because the whole thing is a double page spread. Now, um, a few things to point out, though, uh, with regard to this, um, this document and how it differs from the, uh, from, from the reflurable version that we've already created. Um, so again, I'll, I'll just have a look at here. Now, the, the, the thing is to remember is that we can actually go right out to the edge of the page so we're not limited in any way by the um, by the way that the uh, we have uh, margins or anything like that. I am still using basically the same grid layout that I used before. Uh, but you'll notice with something like this, for example, I'm going right out to the very edge. Um, I don't need to go out to the bleed line. We're not making this for print, so we don't need to worry about bleed. Uh, but we can go uh, right the way to the edge uh, of the page, and this will all be respected. Um, I'll come back to this uh, page in a moment because that's actually a very special page. Uh, the other thing to point out is that everything uh, on the page will appear in the fixed layout ebook. So that means even your, um, your master page items such as the page numbers and of course the, the running headers, those will all appear um, in the document. Now this again, this differs from the reflurable because of course that doesn't happen in the reflurable, but also just to point out, we don't use the articles panel. We can't use the articles panel to determine what appears on the page and what does not appear on the page. So um, bear that in mind because we can't use the table of contents um, actually on the page. Um, so what we have to do is to make sure that we still have a table of contents, uh, but this table of contents would actually normally be uh, simply on the pasteboard. Um, and if I just uh, zoom out here, you'll see uh, somewhere that I've actually got that uh, appearing somewhere in the document. Um, yes, yeah, so I think I can actually see it. It's behind here. Let's just move that over here. So here's my table of contents over here on the pasteboard. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Uh, obviously, it looks pretty strange there. But that's basically as long as it's in the document, then it will appear as the drop down menu in the reflurable EPUB. But we don't want it on the page 
uh, for the various reasons that, um, that we've talked about before. The most important thing really is to make sure that it's a drop down menu. In other words, it's a logical table of contents uh, that will appear after we export. So we're just going to run through the exporting of this to the fixed layout EPUB format. Uh, we're going to probably have to return to this because it's quite a, a, a set of uh, instructions that you'll need. Um, but I'm just going to do this now, export book to EPUB. I have to do this through the book panel, of course. Um, but whereas before we chose the reflowable, we're choosing the fixed layout. I'm simply overwriting the one that's there already. And now the number of items in here that you'll recognize from your reflowable version. Um, first of all, the, ch the cover, of course, we've chosen the cover. We're using the table of contents that's in the book. Uh, I've got one named print, actually, but it doesn't really matter you, whatever you've uh, saved that as. Now this down here, this is the most important aspect of this. You can see that what I've chosen is to convert the spread to landscape page. Um, you'll see that there are some other options here. Uh, you must make sure that you choose that to do the, the to make it in the way that I'm uh, suggesting to you. Um, you can, if you, if you don't do anything, it will be based on the document setup, and this won't necessarily work for you. So, using convert spread to landscape page is really what you need at this point. Other settings in here, um, as before, you can choose your format of your images. I'm choosing PNG because I've got a number of places where I've got transparency. Um, You'll see that the various features that I've added, um, for example, the scrolling text field that I demonstrated in an earlier episode of this, um, actually is happening by me adding in some CSS. So I've got a CSS file here which I've added in. Um, I've also got something in my JavaScript file. Now again, more on this later because it's, it's quite important that you're aware of these details that we need to resolve uh, a little bit later. And then as Obviously, as we know from previous uh, ebook work, we must have a um, metadata title and creator and so on in our metadata. OK, so I'm going to hit OK to that. And um, all being well, we should then get after a few moments, and I shall just wait and see. OK, so this brings up straight away Apple Books with our version here. And we start off with the music again. And we have a pause button. Table of contents allows us to navigate anywhere in the book. and so on. So we'll leave it at that and then we'll come back later to look at how we create this uh, in various, well, as many steps as we need. Okay.